Greetings everyone. So in this video, I'll be talking about TRPC and how you can integrate it into a Tamagoi Next.js React Native application. So if you're like me, you're a fan of TRPC, you like the type safety and the elegance that it gives us in terms of defining our APIs, but you find that it can be a bit difficult to set up. So my goal in this video and this repo that I'm building is to demonstrate the minimal setup that you will need to have TRPC. And from there, we can build on it by adding authentication and database. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be doing that in separate branches to this repo or maybe even separate repos. But hopefully, you'll get some question answered and have a better understanding of how to get started with TRPC. So let's start by looking at what the application does. It's a bare bones application that just calls one API uh, function. And this is it. It just calls a function that we pass a name and it returns a greeting. And let's have a look at it on mobile. As you can see, it um, does the same thing, except that it returns just my first name. So why do we have different output on mobile and web? So on the web, I've also implemented a way of calling TRPC functions on the server side, which bypasses the network. And I use the get server side props to re return that result to the client. And I display that result instead of the result that is um, retrieved on the client. So that accounts for the difference. So let's have a look at it. So here on the, where are we? We are in features home screen dot tsx. We call the greeting function and we pass it the name parameter. And here's was what I was talking about before, where I display the greeting that's passed as a prop before the result that we get here. So how do we get the greeting? We have to go to our next JS pages. And in the home page, we have a get server side props function. And we call the greeting function directly and I pass in my full name. And I return the result as a greeting. And when that greeting is retrieved, I pass it as a prop to the home screen. And this only happens on the web because we don't have a server on mobile. Okay, so that's it for how the, the front end part of the application works. Uh, let's look at how uh, TRPC is defined or implemented or set up. So for this project, what I did is I created a new package called server. And this is where most of the TRPC functions are, are set up or defined. The main one is trpc.ts. We create the T object and define our procedures. We return a router and a call a factory, which is used to create the client that we can use on the server. And we have our routers. Well, right now we have just one main router where we define the greeting procedure. And here we return, we create a create caller function, passing it the router and we define an API by calling create caller and passing it an empty object as the context. And finally, in the utils directory, we have the utilities that we're going to use to set up TRPC on the client side. So we have separate utilities for web and native. So on the native side, 
we get the base URL by retrieving the host URI from Expo, retrieving its value and returning it. And we also define a provider that's going to set up TRPC and React Query. On the website, we create the API with uh, create TRPC next and pass in it our base URL and the route to TRPC. We also enable SSR and this SSR prepass uh, function, which helps us to avoid having the page um, reload after it, it begins loading. And finally, we have our API route, which just calls create next API handler, passing it the app router, and we create an empty object as a context. So I think that's basically it. So you can see what a minimal TRPC setup looks like. And once everything is working, we, re we verify that it works on web and native. It's going to be simpler to implement the additional features that we'll need for a real application like a database and uh, authentication. So you can look forward to those. The repository is available on GitHub. You can clone it and play with it and, and see what it looks like. And in the upcoming days, I'll be adding that database and authentication. Thank you for watching.